Hello everyone. Haven't posted a lot lately. Well, there's a video of the lawnmower, push mower with four caster wheels on it from a few weeks ago and a mini uh, train table I started building, but if you can actually believe it, you know, the, the restaurant, the pizza restaurant I've worked at for this spring will be 22 years. I actually got a raise. I, I, I had, you know, summer of 23, I asked for a raise from 13 bucks an hour, you know. Market prices last year were just to get, just to hire someone off the street, 16, 17 bucks an hour. I was turned down for raise last summer and uh, so I thought well they're never gonna give me a raise I went and applied for a job at a quick trip uh, a couple towns away and while I was waiting for that I left them a note you know to the owner and his son the manager saying you know here's your chance to give me a counter offer so I don't leave so manager and I start uh, negotiating via, via text message and I he asks okay um, how much do you want I says well just to just about anywhere you, you go starting wage is 16 bucks an hour and finally he came up with okay with the only four days a week you're working right now I'll give you 15 from 13 but if you work for me one more day a week I'll raise it to 16.50 so they added me to the schedule I'm back again working Sundays thankfully I'm not closing Sundays because I have to work at the car dealership 6 30 in the morning Monday morning because that was just killing me but I don't know. I don't know. There was stupid me. There, there was a quick trip in another town the other direction. You know, about two towns away. They had an opening on their door that says, uh, now hiring third shift, starting at $20 an hour. And I waited. I just, you know, I waited. Must have been three weeks, and of course the job was gone. So they had filled the position. So, but Quick Trip, they have benefits, they have end of the year bonuses. It's a fast growing company, it's a family owned company. You know, you walk into a Quick Quick Trip, and you know, it's not just gasoline, they have they make food, they have bananas, they have potatoes. Uh, sliced meat, a little fridge with uh, different meats that you could bring home, and uh, I don't, I, and I don't see a lot of turnover at Quick Trips that I frequent either. So uh, my 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 schedule is just horrendous working these two jobs. I like my job at the pizza restaurant and bar. And I really like my job working at the car dealership. Yesterday, a beautiful medium blue C8 Corvette came in. You know, the gold, older guy driving it. You know, a lot of the people who own new Corvettes are like retired or semi-retired. And uh, he says, I, I just need uh, the air put in the tires. It's been parked all winter, which is pretty normal for a Corvette. And this medium blue Corvette is gorgeous. It is beautiful. It has, has Foos aftermarket chrome five-spoke wheels on it. A nice, a nice thin, it's kind of like a star pattern. Uh... The, the, the spokes had a, had a V shape to them. I don't know which specific Foos wheel they were, but this, this car with these wheels was just gorgeous. Oh, it was beautiful. And he just went and sat in the waiting room and there was, you know, there was a Camaro parked up in the corner by the, 
the air hose and there was a truck ahead of him that had to get air, air added to his tires and that truck had a bad TPMS and so the second the truck was taken care of I got to drive pull ahead the, the Corvette by about 40 feet put air in the tires you know you get in the car very very carefully when when the especially the C8 Corvettes the newest Corvette comes into the dealership we handle them like they're a newborn baby it's just so gentle very carefully get in the car it's 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 a delicate car to get into that's the roughest low it's just not practical for to get in and out of a C8 Corvette but you you know, with my kind of uh, hybrid uh, hiking boots I have on with steel toes, I just very carefully can put one shoe in, uh, get my butt in the seat, get the other shoe, make sure not to scuff up the seat or the or the inside of the door. And oh, I got a green light. Oh crap! I don't want to miss this green light. Shit! Come on, stay green, stay green, stay green. Oh, there, just as I get into the edge, it turns yellow. Okay, it's a darn light that's, uh, it's red for three minutes and 10 seconds. It's just really frustrating. But, so I drive this Corvette ahead 40 feet and I add air to the tires. And then the guy comes in and drives it out. The car, I, but I like I said before, it, the car was so beautiful. I just love the color blue. My favorite color is a little bit darker blue than this one was. Uh, you know, I don't know how many colors of, uh, of shades of blue that Chevrolet will make you a Corvette in. I'm sure there's uh, two or three or four or five for all I know. There's a lot of different ways you can order a, a Chevrolet Corvette nowadays. Different stripes, options, this, that, and everything. But anyway well I'm almost at my work I'm just so tired I'm working so much but okay thanks for watching see ya bye